Welcome to another tutorial on Scratch. I'm Lana Marini from Local Hero Post and today we're going to be looking at using a lot of scaffolds to basically relight a scene or at least shape the light and adjust the light in a scene a little bit. Now obviously you have to do this very carefully if you're going to make it look realistic but uh, and it's not appropriate for every shot or every project but uh, this tutorial will give you an example of what is possible and maybe spark your imagination of how you can use these tools uh, to achieve some lighting effects. So here we have a basic shot, uh, shot well uh, in a ballroom, it's brightly lit, but the DP wants to shape the light a little bit more. He doesn't want it to be this overall uh, topper, he wants it to uh, be a little bit more spotty. So I'm just going to do a very basic grade here, uh, first of all, just to get ourselves a base. Something looks nice, it's a period piece, he wants to fade it a little bit, he wants it to be tinted warm. And uh, here we go. So let's say we're happy with that as an overall grade. So now what he wants to do is uh, keep the light really focused on her, make it a little bit more spotty on her at, uh, at first. So what we're going to do is just do a very simple shape and it's going to have to be very soft in order to be believable. So I'm going to make our edges really nice and big here. Spotty at the top, big and broad at the bottom, almost like the light is coming down from the top. And I'm just going to, instead of tracking this one, I'm just going to do a very simple animation, a couple keyframes just to keep it on her as we move. Okay, and a couple more and we should be there. Okay, so that should be pretty good. So now let's uh, go on the outside of this. I'm going to invert this and uh, let's start bringing down the luma outside of her. Okay, don't want to pick up too much saturation, so we're going to dial it down a little bit. So actually, I'm going to save a version above here with no relighting so we can compare after the fact. The director wants to see that on and off. Okay, that's having a nice uh, big effect on the scene. Now I can see it moving just a little bit, so I'm going to soften it out even more. Just so uh, we don't see too much of an edge as we go. I'm going to make it soft on this side because it is cutting the guy off too much. Okay. That's soft enough. We shouldn't be able to see that move. Looks good. Okay, so now there's some other things we may want to do here. There's this lamp back here, and we want to take advantage of it. Uh, what if it were shooting down a bit of its own, a, a cone of incandescent light right down from it? So let's do a second scaffold here. And I'm going to use a recursive here. So instead of brightening up a dark image, uh, we're just going to make this scaffold non-recursive, and it's going to punch through this first one back to the original base image. So let's draw a shape for this one. Make it kind of a nice big cone right here. Okay, nice and soft again. If you're going to make it realistic. Okay, let's start there. We can always adjust this after the fact, after uh, it's animated. Let's say we like that. So in this case, it's specific enough where I think I should track that. So let's track that on. This is a nice tracker point right there. I'm sure it'll be fine. Make the tracker nice and large so it sticks to it. Okay. All right, so let's see how it does tracking that. Okay, well, I mean, it went off screen a little bit there, but that's fine. Uh, so it did well tracking that. So now, after the fact, I'm just going to adjust where that lamp actually falls, right, right there. Trim all, and now that should stay with the lamp, and it does. Great. So now let's see how that looks. It's good. It's got a bit of a hard edge, so we're just going to soften that edge after the fact. I'm going to make it nice and soft so it, it actually is coming down, not hitting the curtain all the way. Nice soft edge. And now we have control within just this little shape here. 
So what I'm going to do is uh, actually make the light much more of a incandescent uh, quality here. So very warm and maybe not as intense in terms of luma. I'm going to dial down the luma just a little bit so that it blends in a little bit more with the background, dial down the saturation. So let's take a look at that. That's great. It's pretty convincing. They come under a nice pinky kind of light. It's, it's not still not quite doing exactly what we want, so I'm just going to make one more adjustment to bring this whole thing up so it touches, trim key, and now we've got it. Okay. Uh, one more thing. Let's take a look at this shot, see how we feel, if there's anything else that we want to work on. This is all looking interesting, except there's a lot of light here on the right side of frame for no particular reason. So just as a last touch, we're just going to do one more, this time a recursive, one more uh, uh, shape. Just going to use a straight rectangle, soften it out. And I'm just going to knock down the side of the frame here. And this is not going to move. It's just going to be a kind of vignette. OK, great. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, it tracks nicely. So that would be it. I think that's enough work on this one uh, shot. So we have uh, brought out uh, the main character. We've created a spotty light on the left. We've knocked down the right. And this would be the comparison before and after. So this is with nothing. And this is with a little bit of relighting work that we just did. It just shapes the light a little bit more, and it would be appropriate in some cases. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching.